Okay, welcome everybody. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about thinking outside the DNN box. And we're going to talk a little bit about what it's like to build modules and applications for DNN. Um, and how can we expand on that? How can we maybe change or look at it a little bit differently? Uh, because I think a lot of times when we're building things in DNN, we look at the architecture of how it is, right, with panes and containers and modules, and we think that we have to live inside these little boxes, like we always have to build to these constraints, and that's not really the case, right? There are some things, if you look recently at some of the stuff in the module contest, you're seeing more and more modules that are starting to break out of those containers that aren't limiting themselves to panes or containers or even the little square boxes, but they're still sort of constrained in some ways by the, the boundaries of the browser. Uh, you look at something like DNN Dev Tools, where they, they have a little icon in the bottom right and you can click on it and then it'll bring up a full screen pop-up with some, some additional details. And that's one example of how you can like break out of that little, little square box that modules live in. You manage is another great one. You go to the page and it completely takes over the page. You can still see the control panel, uh, but the rest of the page is really owned by the you manage module. Um, my DNN Live Chat is another great example from the contest where you have a full page admin experience, but you also have these pop-ups for the actual live chat experience. So they don't really live inside a box on the page, right? They have their own space. But the ultimate box in DNN that developers sort of have our mindset around is DNN itself or the web server that we live on, right? We install modules and themes and provider, but they all get installed inside DNN, inside our web server. And all of those boxes, whether it's panes or containers or the server or DNN, they constrain our thinking. They constrain the way we think about building applications for DNN. But what if we could get rid of those boxes? What if we could remove those and remove the restrictions they place on how we build modules for DNN? What if we could think differently about what it means to be an application or a module or something running inside the web page. Think about Google Analytics for a second. Everyone here has probably used it on their site. You drop a little bit of JavaScript in uh, and you use the API, but did you also know that you could embed the Google Analytics reports directly in your website, in your page? That you could control Google Analytics? This last week at uh, Build, Microsoft released a lot of new things and and it really started me thinking about some of the stuff uh, like Google Analytics and, and, and their approach to this whole problem. One of the things they announced was that you could now embed Skype as an application inside a web page, and it behaves just like Skype. If you've used Outlook.com, you probably have seen it for, for several months now. They also have this thing called Power BI, uh, that, and they just announced this week an embedded version of that. And it's an entire application, looks like it could be running on your desktop, but it can be embedded on your website, in the browser, but it all runs on their infrastructure in the cloud. Now imagine, if you will, all of these applications just require a little bit of JavaScript, a little bit of HTML to hook up, right? We now have spa modules, right? We can take an HTML, JavaScript, a little DNN manifest, and embed it. Uh, as a module in DNN. But we could also use that same HTML and JavaScript in Sitefinity and Drupal and WordPress and Sitecore and ASP.NET, right? That same application that ran in the cloud could run on all those platforms. But I think we can go even further, right? More than just building that little snippet to, to embed someone else's applications, why can't we build our own applications that could run in the cloud? What would that look like? Well, Microsoft this week also announced that Bill, uh, something called Azure Service Fabric. It's been in, in beta for a while. And effectively, you build all of these microservices in the cloud, and Microsoft manages scaling them up, scaling them down, doing auto upgrades and auto failbacks if needed. Um, but you combine that capability with the cloud module that I talked about a few slides back, right? And now you have a full solution. Now you can build effectively a DNN module in the cloud that runs on DNN, but that also runs on Drupal, that also runs on WordPress. You're no longer constrained to the people just running DNN, 
to run your application. You get instrumentation, you get auto upgrades, all of these other features about running in the cloud. So I urge you, break out of the boxes, think about module development a little differently. If you want to talk more about it, here's how you can reach me. Thanks.